Welcome to Synagogues of Ohio, Part 14. Our final stop in the state takes us to the city of Youngstown. With a population of more than 64,000, we check out a synagogue building called Temple El Amet. What makes this a little confusing is that there was another synagogue called Children of Israel that claimed the same address. However, we can find very little information about Children of Israel, other than it was Orthodox, may have been formed as far back as 1883, and was functioning up to about 2013. But we do know plenty about Temple el -Ameth. It's conservative affiliated, and the current rabbi is Joseph P. Schoenberger. The congregation was founded in 1974 after the merger of Anshe Emmet, which was founded in 1919, and Temple Emmanuel, which was founded in 1904. Besides Friday evening and Saturday morning Shabbat services, there is a daily evening minyan and a Friday morning service. And here is a quick overhead shot of El Emmet. And here is Temple Rodev Shalom, a Reformed congregation. The congregation was chartered in 1867. The building shown here was dedicated in 1915, and the congregation has more than 340 member families. Shabbat services are held on Friday evenings, and there is an occasional Saturday morning Shabbat service. Franklin W. Muller, Doctor of Divinity, has been its rabbi since 1995. And here's Ohev Tzedek Sharei Torah. Shabbat services are held on Saturday mornings, and there is also a Thursday morning minion. Not too long ago, Saul F. Oreski became the rabbi of this congregation, but he also became a rabbi later in life as a second career. He received his ordination as a Reconstructionist rabbi. It should be noted that the congregation was for many years affiliated with the conservative movement, but now considers itself unaffiliated. As for its origins, it started out in 1920 as Ohev Tzedek as an Orthodox congregation. It merged in 1953 with Congregation Shari Torah. And in 1956, it dedicated the building shown here and switched to the conservative practice. And we provide a late update. Rabbi Oreski left the congregation at the end of July 2017. He is being replaced by what is called a spiritual co-leadership, two individuals whose credentials have not been publicized. This concludes our look at the state of Ohio. Our final State of the Union, New York, is coming up, so see you soon.